Want tech news in a way that doesn't suck? Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications if you're sitting on the toilet right now. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech and today we're giving you the hottest, the best, Top 10 Cyber Monday deals. The whole show is just Cyber Monday deals. And we're going to fill our whole description with affiliate links. It's going to be great. <laughs> I'm kidding. Fuck. That's the worst, huh? Not going to do that. Not doing that here. Uh, we're just going to do tech news. How about that? Sound good to you? Okay, let's do that. All right, so first up for the day. Okay. Hey, uh, listen, I know we're laughing, but you know it's true. You know it's true. Your whole sub box today is filled with Cyber Monday deals videos. And then before today, it was all Black Friday deals videos. It's just, it's all the same all, every year. But fear not, children. You are safe here. The first story of the day is about the iPhone SE. Well, sort of. iPhone SE and iPhone SE... Plus. So you may or may not have seen this story from last week where Ming-Chi Kuo, which is like, I think he's the leaker that I respect the most in terms of Apple leaks. He basically said, listen, if you're waiting to see or hoping to see an iPhone SE, I guess it would be three, whatever, a new one. If you're expecting to see a new one early next year, uh -uh. So even though this year we got the brand new iPhone SE earlier in the year, April to be exact, He's saying we shouldn't expect the same next year. Did I say expect? Expect? Instead, he says we should expect to see it in the second half of 2021. Now, here's where I would like to add a little bit to this story. Um, and even though Ming-Chi Kuo doesn't need me to cooperate any of his information ever, uh, I can in this case. So according to my sources, yes, he is correct. We won't be getting an iPhone SE update until the second half of 2021. But I'm being told that it's not like a direct update or follow up to this year's iPhone SE. Instead, that iPhone SE that we'll get in the second half of the year in 2021 is apparently the iPhone SE Plus. And to be fair, we've been hearing rumors about the iPhone SE Plus since before we knew it was the iPhone SE. Back when we thought that it was going to be called the iPhone 9, we also expected to see an iPhone 9 Plus launch alongside it. And obviously... Uh, that didn't know happen. To reiterate here, I'm saying that according to my sources at least, we aren't getting both an iPhone SE at like the form factor it is now and an iPhone SE Plus. We're just going to be getting one and it'll be the Plus model. And I guess to me that makes sense because d that would be too many iPhones. I mean, they just launched four brand new models of iPhone 12. We can expect the same next year with iPhone 13 or whatever they call it four models there, it would be nuts, bonkers, ridiculous to do that, to give us an updated iPhone SE and an iPhone SE Plus. To me, the current iPhone SE is in a perfect spot in that price point to fill that part of the market. And next year, the iPhone SE Plus will be that phone in that spot to fill that part of the market. So, you know, my feelings aren't hurt is what I'm trying to say. It makes total sense to me. Plus, um, also, I won't buy it. There's that because there's better ones. So, all right. So last up for the day, iPhone 12, the truth. It's here. It is happening. Tim Cook, Timothy, did you really think, did you really think you could keep this from us? Pull a fast one on us? Rip us off. Thanks to a brand new teardown of iPhone 12 Pro, we now have a list, a bill of materials. We now know exactly how much it costs Apple to make an iPhone 12 Pro. Let's go down said list. The OLED panel that's provided by Samsung within the iPhone 12 Pro, $70. And that's not even the most expensive component of the phone. The most expensive part is from Qualcomm, specifically their Snapdragon X55 5G modem, $90. Next, how about that A14 Bionic chip, 40 bucks. And then the RAM per unit is nearly $13. The flash memory inside the phones, also provided by Samsung is $19 per unit. And then the camera sensors on the back is what? $7? $8? What? How the hell? That puts the whole thing at about rip off dollars and 50 cents. 
or 406 US dollars. But as you know, Apple sells the iPhone 12 Pro at a base price of 999 bucks. And if you're wondering about the iPhone 12, like the regular base model iPhone 12, uh, $373 to make that. Shit. And of course, for that, Apple charges, if you get rid of the carrier special pricing stuff, it's like $829 for the regular iPhone 12. I mean, can you believe that? It only cost them like $400 to make, and they charge us $1,000. Are you fing kidding me? I'm just, I'm just, this is normal. It happens every year. For some reason, when people see this stuff, they get like, they get freaked out and they get mad. I don't know why. Never fails every year. They're Apple greedy. Try to take all the money. They're not like a business or anything doing business. Shit. For reference, this is lower than the cost of prices for Samsung's Note 20 Ultra. It also apparently costs less than a OnePlus Nord 5G. So, yep, completely normal. This happens every single year. I figured I would just get out in front of this one because it happens all the time where people freak out and like they see that and they're like whoa whoa huh it only cost them that much but they charge me this one. i paid this much but it'll cost that much what why that's not fair not even taking into account that one uh they have to make money on it because you know business shit. so yeah profit needs to happen and also r d but you know what do i know so listen just prepare yourself because you're going to start to see all the headlines of this teardown in the bill of materials and all the nerds on twitter screaming about how apple's ripping us off just wanted to throw that out there and give you a heads up you're welcome okay okay i lied I do have one Cyber Monday deal for you. Our sponsor, WeVPN, is running a very special deal right now. For Cyber Monday, that's today, you get two months free with the purchase of a yearly plan. That's just $39.95, which is not a lot of money. I have spent more than that at one trip to Taco Bell. Clearly. But I mean, burritos are so good. So for Taco Bell money, you can get 14 months of WeVPN. Again, that's two for free. And like I've said before, this is the VPN that I believe in the most. It's the fastest VPN I've ever used. That's number one. Unlock all of your favorite content from all your favorite locations, no matter where you're streaming from, no matter what you're visiting, no matter what website you're visiting, you know, you know how this works. It's a VPN. If you don't have a VPN yet, or you're using another one, stop that and try this one. But you gotta hurry up. Again, this is a Cyber Monday deal, so this ends tomorrow that you don't have much time link down in the description and that is it that's the show hopefully you liked it you learned something if you did hit the like button if you hate my stupid face the dislike button that's there that works too if you're new here subscribe and i'll see you guys tomorrow wednesday it's not tomorrow uh, the light again not tomorrow i'll see you on wednesday <laughs>